you. You guys, hello and welcome to episode three of the Oh Hello You podcast. Hello, yeah. I'm Jonathan. I hate this part. <laughs> and Whatever. I'm Rachel. You look like a newscaster today. Amy, you look beautiful. What are you wearing? Oh, um, this is something I got off Amazon. Thank you, Kathy, Johnny's mom. And oh. this is a Dresden Noten blazer. Oh, a fantastic. A little bit of David German and a little bit of Kendra Scott. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And I'm Rachel. Today, <laughs> and I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. And today at News at 10, part one. Welcome. Hello. Okay, shush. Wait, you should do an audition to be a newscaster right now. Ready? Three. No! Two. One. I shall not. Today! You're fired not already. Today. You, did, no. you didn't even try! No, I didn't. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my podcast. I'm Rachel, and I don't even try. And I don't give a <laughs> Rachel, the editing. Lord is listening. <laughs> All right, you guys, how are you? Okay, first things first. Do we say what episode this is? Yeah, I said this episode three. Threw me off with your stupid newscasterness. Well, I just think that you would make a great newscaster today. Sorry I, if I find talent attractive. I tried doing that. You know those newscaster challenges on TV. Did you try? I tried. I was got it horrible? It, I got it good the first time, and then I was like, I could do better, and then I could never do it again. Why don't you boost it? Because <laughs> I deleted it. Because what? I was like, I can do better. Wait. I can do anything better than you. Is that a song I from like a musical? I think that's mean because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Oh, first God. things first. Um, let's listen to some voicemail, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. Oh my God! Did anybody do the the giveaway? Oh no! Forgot about the giveaway. Giveaway will be announced on Tuesday. Your last chance to enter. All you have to do is Tuesday. comment. Friday. Friday. The, the Friday. last thing, the only thing you have to do is comment in the comment section something you want us to talk about and or what's the other thing? <laughs> you have a topic like, or something you want us to talk about. Yeah, something you want advice about. Oh, oh my god, did you break, Oh, did you hear that? Did you break your For neck? those of you not listening to the video version watching or the watching video? the video version, I almost just decapitated myself. I think you're getting like a big Gray hair if spot. you okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm moving out. It's from living with me. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, let's listen to some voicemails. Ready? Hello, hello, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We love you. Uh, we've been on YouTube for a long time. Yeah. And we wanted to try out a new kind of a this podcasting. The end. <laughs> I started YouTube with a ASMR eating channel. I had to edit those. <laughs> oh, she hated it. She hated it so much. Um, I started a podcast eating channel like a year and a half or so ago. I think it was like. A little longer than that? I don't know. So I started that and then that kind of morphed into me doing like a video with the glasses and then people, I did another video without the glasses. For those of you who don't know, we always wear like fake eyeglasses. Um, like funny ones with fake yeah, lenses. Yeah, fake people's like faces. Eyeballs. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> we bring Rachel in and it's here where we live for it. We're weird people. We're so live for it. Cheers. We are live for it. And now we change things up a little bit where we have the podcast and we have everything. You have some water there. I'm going to tattoo we're live for it. <laughs> <laughs> we are live for it. Okay, let's listen to another one. Hello, you. Hello, yeah. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. We always look forward to your voicemails, Jackie.
that I have to do my work and getting emails from the teacher. Oh, oh. I was so mad that when I came into my room, the guy always was just like, Tell me to come back and be chill. I thought I was going to be out. I don't know what else you're saying, but Jackie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that we can um, help lift your day up. That makes me so happy. Yes. And no, I mean, you need to know how to read and, and write and all the basics and some math and, you know. But a lot of the stuff in school is pointless. I don't know what the Pythagorean, I can't even say it. The Pythagorean theorem, Rachel, Y equals <laughs> MX plus B equals life skills. <laughs> Do you know how often I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, should I get the ranch Doritos or the Thai chili Doritos? Let's see. Y equals what? Doritos X plus B <laughs> over um, Thai chili cubed. Cube. Yeah, that'll help me make my decision. It doesn't happen. No, unless you were a literal scientist or math teacher. A mathematician? Sure. Do you know when I was younger, I thought a mathematician was a person that did math and magic? <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. I want to be a mathematician. Numbers. One plus one equals two. Wow, that was. Right? How is everybody's Easter? It was great. Thank you for asking. How was everyone's Easter? Did you do fun things? Did you. Did you do an egg hunt? Did you do an Roman egg hunt? Roman did. They had Free an egg hunt. Egg <laughs> they had a. Uh, egg hunt here at our apartment and you just had to like bring a mask, social distancing, all the good stuff. Yes. Um, but there were like a thousand eggs and like 20 kids. I don't even think there was 20 kids. I Probably not. Like, but they're like, what? go. And I'm like, Roman, I saw a golden egg over here. I don't know what it means, but go get it. But like. She got it. Don't worry. She got a big price. But she got like 70 eggs. No. It was insane. <laughs> they had them all around the complex. It was really cool. Like literally all over it. We were out looking for about an hour. It yeah, great. it was like, awesome. She had so them, many some eggs. Some of them fell inside bushes that were prickly and Roman was like, ah, ah, <laughs> get the egg. She'd be like, this is going to make me bleed, but I need it. I'm like, I like your determination. Sweet. But then what we had, the Easter Bunny had an egg hunt here for two. And then we had another egg hunt over at her uh, adopted grandma's, grandma's adopted house. grandma's house. <laughs> Yeah, she got so... I swear, it was like Christmas again. I have not eaten, <laughs> I have not eaten this much candy in a very Right? Time, I feel like I we just need to get rid of it because it's going to just... Explode you? I would love to get exploded. No, that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but okay. At dinner, though, we had dinner over at um, my sister-in-law's parents' house. Um, they're just kind of like the people that we like, do all the holidays with here. Um, but they had a smoked honey glazed ham turkey. No, a honey oh! glazed ham. Isn't that what the brand? Honey baked ham. Yeah. Oh. Anyways. But, but it was turkey, it was, not ham. Oh my God. My it was God. amazing. Mind, I've never had it before in my life. Mind blown. Right? Yes. Exploded. I think it was better. I mean, I haven't had ham in like eight years, but I think it was better than the ham. Why are you looking at me weird? Because I'm talking to you. Oh. And I'm looking to you for approval of, yes, the turkey was better than the ham. You're scaring me. Okay. But yes, the turkey was better than the ham. You're gorgeous. Do you know that? Thank you. Like, meow. Jeez. But no, it was great. So we had like turkey and we talked for probably like six hours hours we got, at the dining room table. I forgot we went over there at three. Yeah. <laughs> we usually we go went over there like three and we didn't leave until like ten. It was oh, fun though. Three. See this is why you need math kids. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh. Seven, oh my nine, gosh. Oh my gosh. When you did that, put your thumb up. Huh? When you did that, you can see how swollen it is. Oh my god. You guys, I've been doing <laughs> Look at this. Anybody watching. Rachel has herpes. I do not. <laughs> I have, I've always had issues, this is so gross, with planter's warts, and I haven't, <laughs> had, I, I haven't had any for a long time, but I randomly got one on my finger, which I've never, they've always just been on my feet. So I've been Fingerlicious in, definition, finger. make your words go loco. So, like, and so I've been going to the dermatologist and he's giving me injections in my finger and Ew, on but my he has foot. to like cut out the dead skin. Ew, okay, so the first oh. time I went. Trigger is, warning. This, this is, is my, gross. Yeah, this is really gross. This was my second um, 
treatment or whatever. So I went in like a month ago and got this done. And then this, my thumb got super like red and peeled yeah. all the skin off and the skin was so thin. And then it kind of just gotten back to normal. And now it, he did it again. <laughs> and I'm like, is my finger going to be okay? But yeah, it's really swollen. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Thummy? But it hurts so <laughs> So it, the bad. one on your foot grosses me out though, because she had to get one done on the bottom of her foot too, oh, he had where to... he had to like take a scalpel Blech. and like cut out okay, okay. dead skin. Okay, okay. So, Ugh. so the last time I went, there was a really oh. nice like student doctor there, and she like rubbed my arm and like held my hand and like distracted me because the injections hurt and I feel like they go in super far. Yeah. And so he had me like lay on my stomach on the table and his foot my foot what? His, my foot was in his lap he was like behind <laughs> me and, his foot was in his lap. and i could what hear the i could hear the dead skin hitting the floor because it was like tink tink like Ugh! ew it was so gross but he like gets all the dead skin off and then injects it and i had to get two injections in my foot this time because he found another one and i was like god so you found another one yeah i'm not yawning so story was bored boring i'm yawning because i was just Yawning, just okay, so you know. It's okay to tell me my story. No, something. it was great. It's <laughs> weird that he uh, shoved your your foot in his lap, though. I mean, I don't know. Correct. <laughs> it it, all hurt? the dead did skin it, is gone. Did it hurt though? No. No. It's, it's dead skin. It's not cutting live skin. Oh, what if he was like but, scraping his scalpel, and, like like well, it kinda, at you and like shoved it in your foot and like well, cut your tendon, which then in turn sprang back and he jumped again and he cut snapped your bone in half. And it's a bad day to go to the doctor. What's wrong with you? Also, Sorry. Let me fix your hair real quick. Um, hold on. There's one tiny piece of hair that's like. Stuck. Don't pull it out. I'm hanging on to that for. Sticking you pull one, the whole thing unravels. Yeah, but yeah. So my finger is sore and my foot is sore. But oh my god! Speaking of doctory stuff. What? Um, oh. Have you seen those TikToks that are like, what is it? That are like, um, wait, the ones that are like, tell me you have health care in the yes. US. Or that yes, we were talking about this earlier. Oh my god, so I want these do people, one. I want to do one because I just don't know how to get this all in 60 seconds because it's like such a long, like, part one, thing. part two, part three. You'll I be the most part, hated person on TikTok. I hate when things are put in parts. No, when I've never broken a bone ever, except okay. for your foot this one time when I broke my foot at band camp. At ben, this one time at band camp. No, so I was in a big lots part. No, not big lots. Best Buy. Best Class buy. it up a little bit. Best Come on. Buy parking lot. <laughs> and I go to step off the curb with. I was holding Roman, who was not even what maybe like a year old at that point. I think yeah. Was really little. Something like that. It's like five. What? This was like five years ago. So I step off the curb into this giant pothole in the parking lot. Uh, my foot goes sideways. It was not that deep. It was like this. You're saying it's like six it inches. Like, woo, it was huge. It was probably four inches. It was really big. Anyways, just <laughs> credit my story. Sorry, it was six inches. Yeah. Duh. Anyway, so I step off the curb, my foot goes sideways, and I like <gasps> fall all the way to the floor holding... Wait. Holding Roman. Can I say how it looked from my angle? <laughs> <laughs> we're walking out. I literally get to the car. Rachel's just talking. And we're like, da, 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 da. And I turn my head and I look back and she's gone. And I'm like, hello. And she's was, like, ah! I was on the other side of the car. So he's standing here. I'm over here. And all of a sudden I'm like, Bleh. and he's like, hello. And I was like, she's like screaming like a young fawn looking for her mother. But you know that you have health care in America when <laughs> the U.S. <laughs> When you were crying, not because it hurts, but because you don't have insurance <laughs> and you know this is going to cost you a fortune. Yeah. So I am literally bawling my eyes out and I've never broken a bone, so I don't know what I'm supposed to, where I'm supposed to go. So we ended up going to the emergency room, which was the worst mistake ever. We should have just Ugh, gone straight. Such garbage. Like, we should have just gone straight to like a foot doctor because literally, okay, so I go in there, I'm waiting, 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 which is normal for an emergency room. And they finally get me in. They don't even wipe the blood off. They x-ray my foot, which the x-ray ends up not even, the disc ends up not working. And then they forget to give it to us and mm -hmm. we leave. And so Johnny has to go back and wait an hour for them to get the disc. So idiots. Which when we get to the foot doctor doesn't even work. And so. Oh, but they charge this for the video. Don't you worry. Did. So we, I go in there. The lady that's helping me is like. Uh, on something it's kind of not all there it seems like 
and <clears throat> she's like doing my foot and she puts it in a splint is it a splint that i think so it was crooked she put it so my foot wasn't straight it was like <clears throat> and so i wore that until i could get in anyway so that was highly uncomfortable they but she didn't even put didn't, it on right. They, no. She I'm like, you charge right. us for crap that you don't even do right? Like, no. And then, guess how Eat much my... Eat a pile of rocks. Guess how much my bill was. For a splint and not even seeing a doctor. Didn't see a doctor. Even though they said I did. Didn't see a doctor. <clears throat> had a splint put on wrong. Didn't clean the blood off my foot. My x-ray didn't even work. $3,200. Yeah. $3,200. I was like, what is the point of you? Right? What's the point? And the, oh. And like, and oh, you're need to go see someone. I'm like, I'm here to see someone, you freaking idiot. They told me that it, I broke the wrong bone. Oh, yeah. And that she's going to need, like, all this they surgery. She's going to need foot surgery, which would have cost, like, thousands and thousands of dollars. And yeah. Then, we did not have health insurance. Not a vibe. And then, oh, and sorry. And then they quoted me when we went in, they quoted me about $700. Yep. And then they charged me thirty two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's oh, okay. We sued. Yay them for a lot. <laughs> we did. We sued and we won. We High five. Bam. But Bam. They covered. They co ended up covering expenses two years later. So I that took forever. That took I called years. the lawyer and I told him like our case or whatever. He's like, "Oh yeah, we'll take that on for free." And I'm like, "Go, cool, let's do it." It took two years. Like we just won the medical crap paid. Oh, and then. Uh -oh. I forgot about the aftermath. And what? then 10 days later, I lost half, oh, yeah. half the vision, like my central vision in this eye, which my eyes are really bad anyways. But I couldn't see anything out of the middle of my eye. It was just black. And then all around, I could see like peripheral and whatever. But it gave me like major migraines. And Didn't they tell you you had a brain bleed? They thought I had a brain bleed, but the, it took a month. My mouth farted. <laughs> it took a month. <laughs> a month. To get me in for whatever that scan MRI. So I don't know. They yeah, they're like, we think you have a brain bleed. And then they told me they thought I had MS, and then that yeah. took a month to get me in to get tested for that. I you literally had to go to like a brain doctor. I had to go to a neurologist. He's very nice, a neurologist. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm, I'm like, surprised nothing was wrong up there. I know you me. well. I was <laughs> shocked. <laughs> But no, they never figured out what was wrong with my eye. I it, I still can't see out of it very well. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm trying to hide from her, I just stand where I believe the center of her vision is. And she's <laughs> no. like, where are you? And I'm like, whoa, I'm a ghost. No, I can still see my No, but it freaks me out. I just got my driver's license. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I just got my driver's license in Utah. And I had to do the eye test. And but you like, saw perfectly fine. Yeah, I figured it out because I kind of had to position my head differently. Cause well, it's I gotten way better now. I think my eyes have finally adjusted. Yeah. And I don't get migraines. But Can still, you still see the gray spot? Yeah, like if you're just if looking? I my eye, it's like right here. Girl, why is your eye dancing like it's in the anyways, conga line or something? Anyways. But I was doing that test and he was like, oh, can you? I got like the right side because you have to read across the, right. the letters. And then he's like, oh, can you do the other column? And I was like, the other column? <laughs> and so I kind of like, bah! my head a little bit and I could see it just fine. Well, that's but I fun. don't, I don't drive at night because I can't no. drive at night because I will die. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. I got her these really sexy um, oh anti-glare glasses. I look good. They're like aviators that are yellow. Yeah, I don't look like a douchebag at mm. all. <laughs> Not at all. I think you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Oh, you know who looks... Okay, did you see the new Lady Gaga for Dom Perignon? I showed it to you. Uh, oh, Hello. yeah. Um, if you guys have not seen Lady Gaga's ads for the Dom Perignon champagne, they're insane. I love Lady Gaga. Like, they're so awesome. I love her. She, that was one of the best concerts we ever went to. Right? So I love how creative she is, and I like her weird clothes. Yeah. Speaking of clothes, this vest... Jacket, the best. This blazer is very tight. I have not worn this since pre-pandemic, and I'm about to burst out the back of it. Didn't used to be. I know. <laughs> your all oh, your pants used to fit you, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Gym Shorts. <laughs> oh, whatever, Mrs. Sweatpants. I only wear those because I got nowhere to be. <laughs> I only wear gym shorts because I'm sad. <laughs> uh, I don't even get. Oh my God. Okay. TikTok talk, TikTok talk, 
talk TikTok. Let's talk TikTok. No, I saw this TikTok the other day. It was like, oh, what's happening here? This guy's in a 7-Eleven and he's like looking around and stuff. And then all of a sudden he like pans over and there's a giant ass water monitor. If you don't know what that is, it looks like this. Oh, that's a great. It's a lizard. <laughs> It's a lizard that's like the size of Rachel, but it started climbing. Like, okay, that is some like, that is some horror movie crap right there. Like this thing started climbing the shelves and I'm just like, mm -mm. poor thing's over here. Just like, I just want a Triscuit. A Triscuit? Triscuits are good. Don't hate on Triscuits. Oh, the black cracked pepper Triscuits. Why did you just sigh eye me? For those of you who are listening audio she just side eyed me. Uh, audio is that a word? Well, it is today. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Johnny is very particular about his hair. If I ever touch his hair, he's like... No, it's not Do that. You try to rip out my hair. Only if it's gray. Okay, well, guess what? Don't give them to me. They won't be there to rip out. <laughs> oh, my love. What? I love big gray hair. I don't even know. Oh my god. Okay, what is up with animals this week being in weird places? There's the water monitor. Did you see the alligator? No. There's an alligator that literally shoved himself up underneath a guy's car in an apartment, probably somewhere in like Florida. I was gonna say Florida. That's where all the crap is. We are happens. so <laughs> on it together. Super but on no, it. But no, the funny thing is that these people are trying to like get it out, and it's like trying to get a cat out because the alligators there just Ow, stop leaning on my legs. The alligators <laughs> They're just going <laughs> <laughs> Did you know they hiss? Alligators? Yeah. No. Yeah. Like a cat. Like a cat. Like but he's a cat. he's over there just cat. hissing, and the guy just keeps, like, slapping his tail, like, woo! But I don't know. Well, then, in Australia, there was a cow stuck in a pool! Ow! If you touch your my hair... Your hair was sticking... Your hair is I sticking don't up. Care. You're going to be annoyed in editing. No, I'm not. Because I'm not editing. Anyways, oh. there was a cow that was stuck in a pool in Australia. No! <gasps> Cute animals. I think cows are cute. Do you think cows are cute? Have you ever seen a blow dried cow? A what? Oh yeah, blow dried. A cow that got blow dried. Yeah, they're so fluffy. Oh my god! If you guys have not seen a cow that has been blow dried before, look it up right now. Blow dried cow. Why do they blow? They are so fluffy. I don't know. My old boss said that they used to blow dry them before like 4 H shows. What is that? Oh. I don't know. Maybe to like show off. Like, look at my fluffy look how cow. Goofy I am. My name's Jonathan, and I just blow dried my cow. Check out how fluffy it is. Oh boy. What? Um, no, speaking of cute animals, when I was on, I took Sean for a walk the other day along this trail, <laughs> and there was like a retaining rock wall, and like with huge rocks, and these, like, I saw something like up ahead, and Sean kind of like tweaked out and like stood still and was like staring at it. And I was like, what is that? Did his ears get all like burnt yeah, up? Yeah, all the hair on his and his neck stood up and I was like, I'm a little nervous because I'm alone on this trail. My dog is free. It was the middle of the day in the neighborhood. No, it don't matter what time of I'm day kidding. it is. Uh, no, but these little tiny squirrels were in the rock wall and they were sticking what? their heads out. Yeah, it was so cute. Wait, was it like the game where you smash them all or whatever? <laughs> but there were so many of them. You didn't punch one, did you? Punch a squirrel. I don't know. They have rabies. That's why you won't punch a squirrel because they're so cute. What? Wait, did he like attack them though? He, he like ran after them. Sean is our seventy-pound golden retriever, and I—he's a big boy. I am. I mean, I'm not small. I'm like five foot eight. <laughs> but like, like I was like trying to hold him back, and he's like trying to get these squirrels, and I'm like, ah, like running down this trail with my giant dog. He's like, uh, I'm getting me a squirrel today, Ma. Oh my God. Last night I took the dog down and there was like, there's this little, oh. there's this little yippy dog on the first floor <laughs> that's like, cause the, the patios in our, in this place are huge if you're yeah. on like the first floor. And so there was like people sitting down there on the patio with their little dog and it was like fenced into the patio portion. And every freaking time that thing is down there, it like, and I walk past with Sean, it's like, yeah! And Sean's like, rah, 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 and sounds True. so scary. <laughs> You're like, he's a cuddle muffin. I'm like, he thinks he's scary. And he's <laughs> big, mean dog, but he's like a fluffy, stupid golden retriever. <laughs> yeah. I hate it, though, when you take Sean down to go to the bathroom. And he's like, any dog owners will love this. Uh, when you're like, down taking your dog to go potty, 
and they're like just about to go and you can like you know what like you've made eye contact and you're like yeah they're pacing poop, they're getting poop right now and he's like squat. i'm gonna poop right now dad i'm gonna poop and you're like poop just do it and then like the lightest gust of wind comes along and it's just like what was that oh suck back up into my rectum <laughs> i'm just like are you kidding me or if there's another Pe oh. There are people with like a dog that comes down mm. or like And it's kids. always, it's <laughs> always at the second when the dogs are about to go potty. Yeah. When something happens. Yeah. One, two. And I'm like, if you have a dog and you see somebody else with their dog in that same don't place, go, don't go right there. Don't go near That is other. such a douchey move. That's the thing. I don't think, I've heard a bunch of things saying like, like dogs interacting with other dogs, especially like dog park situations can teach them like bad behaviors and stuff. Also, another thing that freaks me out is that like you have no idea the health of that other dog. Like what if oh, one has like parvo or something and then gives Doesn't it to Sean you? have a parvo shot? Like, I don't know. I mean he's got his Pretty puppy. Sure. He got his puppy shots. But like I don't know. I don't like when like random people with their dogs like come up to me. If I'm at like like throwing the ball over at the little tiny park over there and someone like comes up and it's fine but girl what is on your face i don't know something's in my eye you have been picking at your face for a lifetime there's like a hair Anyways. let me see hair gone and like and then like i hate it oh like yesterday i was going down the stairs and i hate it because sean is so jumpy and he like yeah he gets so excited and he wants to like jump up and be your friend be like hi hi how are you and this lady like i was i was holding him back obviously holding him back like here so he didn't jump all over this lady and she like is like waiting on the stairs like to pet him and i'm like Ugh. oh i hate that <laughs> like, and then he starts jumping all over her and she's like whoa and i'm like yeah this is what i was trying to avoid <laughs> I'm like hello you're like guess what this is why i was back there yes like, no matter how many times we have tried, our dog is three years old. He's very well trained in all other aspects. Except he for jumping. still jumps on people. I'm like, get off of my mouth. Yeah. It's embarrassing. People are like, you have to train him better. I'm like, no, sure. I know. People don't say that to you. No, other people, like, with dogs who have, like, really, oh, like, yeah. don't jump. They're like, oh, you just have to train them. I'm like, yeah, I know. I've tried. And you just have to go eat a pile of crap, Becky. <laughs> Freaking Becky with your perfectly trained dog. Oh, God. I just flipped off the screen for anybody not. Um, for listening audio <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> well, I feel like that's a good place to end this. <sighs> Flipping them off? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll end them with the sparkles. Sparkles? <laughs> oh, my God. They spit on your face. Wait, you should try to be a news reporter really fast. That's for you, for what you did Go. in the jelly video the other day when you spit those things on my face and literally there was spit in my If you hair. don't follow us on TikTok, make sure to follow us on TikTok. Also follow us here on YouTube. And if you've been watching the song, leave the number two to signify dog poop yes. and we'll know that you are a true fan. Number two to All right. signify dog poop. We love you. Don't forget to call in and leave your voicemails next week. Like we'll my. see you. Then next week, really exciting and guest. And the giveaway, Rachel. actually do it. Yes, the giveaway. I promise. We'll actually announce. We'll do it. it. It'll be great. Uh, okay. Peel this jacket off of my body. Oh, my God. What if you got stuck in it? That would be I hilarious. Mean, it's a very great Goodbye. possibility. <laughs>